Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, children of all ages, and welcome back to Breakthrough, the show where we're going to find the bright young superstars of the future of NLG here in five quick matches. Leading off, we have a debuting superstar, The Roush. Something about saying this man's name makes my head hurt in ways that collapsing time theory can only describe, but that's for another day. For right now, he's making his way to the ring for his first ever match here in the NLG universe, but he's being ambushed by Zack Widow on the ramp with a huge German suplex landing on his head. Should be said that before we went on the air tonight, Zack Widow ran down to me while I was at my announcer's table setting everything up and just told me that he has embraced the hate before running back up the ramp to presumably ambush the Roush not four seconds ago. And he is in the ring taking full advantage right into a pinfall. We've got two... Three, Widow wins at a huge just demolition of a newcomer here today. And after the match in the ring, the ref trying to help him celebrate, but Widow pushes him away. He's growling, snarling, and foaming at the mouth. He has embraced your hatred. If you wish to send him letters to his P.O. box, I can share the details. P.M. me. Moving into our second match of the evening here, we've got a tag team matchup between Team NLG, Mr. Respawn, followed by his partner, Big Baby Bradley, Triple B. And they'll be taking on the NLG Tag Team Champions, Ace and Alpha, the Rainbow Warriors, making their colorful entrance to the ring, as it is. Those pants gotta go there, guys. The 1980s called. They're over. And we are in the ring now with Respawn and Ace staring each other down. Respawn going in with kicks, but Ace flipping around into his own kick. A nice inventive bit of offense there. Flying off the ropes with a spinning heel kick, knocking Respawn down. Ace is up on the turnbuckle already with a huge missile drop kick from up top very early in this match. Not wasting any time. Triple B on the outside trying to get a little illegal contact there, but missing. Oh, and Respawn from the outside pulls the rope down, and Ace goes flying over. Respawn now down here in front of the announcer's table. They break away from each other, and wait, there's Ace with a huge flapjack through the table to Respawn. His face broke my table. I don't have anything to leave my possessions on now. Moving on into the match a bit later on, we're going to have a double tag in as Alpha and Triple B come in for their respective teams and stare each other down. Bradley going right to work, Alpha firing back with a punch in the center of the ring. Trading blows here, but there's a huge clothesline. And now Alpha's the one that's got to do some fighting back here. They lock up collar and elbow. And it looks like Bradley comes out on top of that one. And Bradley now with a modified STO, throwing Alpha right down to the mat. Working with him down on the mat there. Working the leg. Flips him over into, and looks like an Achilles lock. And he's got it locked in. This could be the end here. But there's Ace for the save. Gets a bit of the ref's shin as well. Got to watch out for that conduct there. You might get kicked out. But Bradley now with Alpha back on his feet. Twists his arm around. Clubs him in the elbow, taking advantage of the torque there. Moving into a headlock, into a belly-to-belly. -belly, picks him up. He's got a bear hug applied. Ace trying to make another save, and he gets there just in time, it looks like, as Bradley's forced to drop Alpha later on in the match. Bradley with a double underhook. Oh, into a pile driver to Alpha, but Ace, with the elbow drop, makes the save, breaking up the pinfall. Bradley in complete control over Alpha, though, here. His team, NLG, really seems to be in the driver's seat in this match. Alpha now on his feet. Bradley now down. Alpha tags in Ace. He seems to be the offensive mastermind of the team tonight. Runs right at Bradley with a huge flip over DDT there. Throwing Bradley into the ropes, ducking under the opponent. But Bradley knows the counter, picks him into a belly to belly and throws him across the ring. Unbelievable. Dragging now the limp and lifeless Ace toward the center of the ring for a pinfall. Respawn celebrating only a one count. Now Ace back on his feet. Looking to get back into this. Bradley throws him to the apron. Gets him into a suplex hold and lifts him right back into the ring, slamming him, slamming him down in the center. He's now got some clubs to the neck, throwing him back down. Bradley just kind of dominating this match since Respawn tagged him in moments ago. But wait, there's Ace with a big counter. Elbow to the face of Bradley there. Oh, and there's a big swinging neck breaker, and Bradley looks out. Alpha across the ring. Knox respawn. There's a three. The Rainbow Warriors, the tag team champions, they do win despite Bradley's offensive outpouring tonight. It was one misstep and one reversal that won the match for the tag team champions. You got to think respawn should have been in the ring there instead of not being in the ring. Anyway, <laughs> moving on to our third match of the evening. This is something of a... I don't want to call it a grudge match, but it's going to get ugly. We've got Hardcore Quinn, the clown of NLG that is anything but funny and lovable. He's more often 
drunk and really, really angry. He's coming to the ring after smashing the can on his head. And he will be taking on the only person on this roster that's angrier than him tonight. The one and only kilt-wearing guy, Angus. And he's coming down here. And we just have to think he's going to be sending a message to the 101 in this matchup on the heels of their uh, rivalry over the Hardcore Championship here in the NLG universe. Hardcore Quinn just looks to do what he always does and destroy someone else with no regard for his own body. And now we have the match underway. And there's Angus wrapping around the arm of Hardcore Quinn. Angus with the obvious size advantage in this match. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know what Hardcore Quinn just saw at that kilt, but that was a big boot. We're just going to pretend that view did not happen there. And Angus is still moving on. Snapmare. Now Angus throwing him into the corner. He's going to follow like a freight train, but he misses the clothesline, and Quinn throws him into a DDT, planting him on his head. Quinn taking advantage here. Now Quinn from behind. Gets a headbutt right between the shoulder blades of Angus, who very intelligently rolls out of the ring to recover. Now working from the outside, Quinn is thrown across the steel ring stairs by Angus, who then picks him up in the corner. And locks him into a suplex clutch, has him up and holds him over his head. Demonstration of strength, and that lands his heels right on those steel steps. Later in the match now, Quinn whipped over the other set of steel stairs. Angus just toying with him now outside of the ring, the ref counting uselessly. Now... Angus is coming over and stripping my table that was rebuilt with duct tape and cardboard, and he throws Quinn into it. I am walking away. I am picking up my microphone and walking away. Angus is on top of the table with Quinn, and he's picking him up. I don't know what this is going to be here. Oh, no, it's an Angus buster through the table, the table that will never be built correctly again. It's a shell of its former self. The engineer that made it sitting at home crying. Never again will he make such a wonderful table. Back into the match later on. There's a clothesline all the way from Scotland, and that's got to be it here for Angus. He's dragging Quinn around like he's a rag doll, setting him up in the center of the ring for what's going to be a pin here. We've got one, two. Oh, Quinn kicks out with just a hair of a second left, but Angus with a boot to the gut. Oh, and there's another big finish. The spine buster. into what is actually the Angus Buster. <laughs> Not what I referred to on the table mere seconds ago. One, two, three. Angus wins the match. The 101, the hardcore champion. He's going to have to study this tape pretty well because this is just about what he can expect from anybody that gets on Angus's bad side. And now Angus, completely relentless, really sending the message home, probably killing hardcore Quinn in the process. Stepping on his still-beating heart. That is a sad, crying clown, ladies and gentlemen. And that is an angry man in a kilt. Remind me never to go to Scotland. Fourth match of the evening. We have a six-man battle royal to determine the number one contender for the Breakthrough Championship. This is a new title that will be defended on every Breakthrough show. Right now, the champion is Desmond Floyd. He will not be in this match. We have Elliot Taylor, uh, Elliot Taylor Youngblood. Christian Kudo, who did very well in a six-man over-the-top match on NLG this week. AC Anderson. Here is Aaron Connors making his way on the apron right there. And our last competitor coming in right after is the Scorpion. These six men are going to do very quick battle here to determine who will take on the Breakthrough Champion on next week's episode of Breakthrough. And the match is now going to be underway with all six men in the ring. They converge on the center, and it's a mass of bodies, punches, kicks, and grabs. Like a high school wrestling team locker room. And amidst all of the locking up, you can see Youngblood taking a bit of an advantage with a nice heel kick there. We skip ahead and imagine Youngblood has Kudo outside on the apron trying to eliminate him. Everyone else is more or less still in this match. Kudo fights his way back in. Christian, very impressive in his match on NLG earlier this week. Can he do as well in this match here? He got, what I believe, three eliminations in his first match ever in the NLG universe. He's definitely someone to watch. But he did not win the match. We have to remember that. And he's not going to win today either as Youngblood makes him the first one eliminated. <laughs> oh, man. I should just stop talking sometimes. Moving ahead there. Oh, and there's AC Anderson. He's eliminating Elliot Taylor, who was the quickest elimination in NLG history in that same match that Christian Kudo did well in on NLG. 
a little bit of very recent history. So we're down to four men just like that. We've got Youngblood, and Youngblood eliminates Aaron Connors. <laughs> we're down to three now. We're not wasting any time in there. These guys mean business. They want this title. Down to the last three. Now we've got Youngblood getting worked over by both AC Anderson and the Scorpion here. Youngblood at a disadvantage against these two if they're going to pick teamwork against the NLG vet. But Youngblood fighting his way up. Takes control of AC Anderson there and whips him to the outside on the apron. AC Anderson barely hanging on. Oh, and Youngblood kicks him out through the bottom rope. We're down to the last two. We've got Youngblood and we've got the Scorpion looking to become the number one contender for the strap. Scorpion now working over Youngblood in the corner, trying to eliminate him over the ropes. The corner is a tough place to do it. There's too much to hang on to, and Youngblood takes advantage, sliding his way back into the ring. Now the Scorpion's got to go on the defensive in the corner. Youngblood going to throw him all the way across the ring. Running after him, following. And there's a push and a clothesline over the top, and Youngblood is your winner. He is the new number one contender for the Breakthrough Championship, the very prestigious new title. And it looks like he will probably have his title match next week, as this is a belt that is defended every single week right here on Breakthrough. We're going to let Youngblood have his moment, and we're going to move into this evening's main event, which, coincidentally enough, is a one-on-one -on -one match for the Breakthrough Championship. Making his way to the ring first, we have... Desmond Floyd, the reigning, defending, breakthrough champion here in the NLG universe. The belt making its debut here on its home show. Desmond Floyd looking very impressive so far here in NLG. And his opponent, none other than Chris Kendall, the lone wolf. A newcomer about midway through last season. Made some pretty good noise here on Breakthrough and has definitely made a sort of second home here on our show. He should be some stiff competition for Desmond Floyd to see whether or not his impressive performance on NLG was the real deal or maybe just a fluke. And we're going to let the mute Justin Roberts pretend to introduce our components. Everybody listen in. Or is it mute Tony Chamel? I can just never tell. They're both very quiet. And now the referee is presenting the belt. And the moment of silence for the man that can't speak is now over. We're going to be back on the air. I'm going without a table for this matchup, to my knowledge. If you see anything over there, it is literally just a hastily spray-painted cardboard box. Do not let it fool you. Into the match now. Desmond Floyd instantly with a releasing belly-to-belly -belly suplex, and he's just going to throw Chris Kendall around. If that's the kind of match this is going to be, Kendall may want to just let it end early. He's got a promising career. He does not want it to come to a screeching halt here on Breakthrough. Floyd throwing Kendall into the corner there taking full advantage of the definite size advantage he has at play here. But Kendall with the athleticism, there is a nice hanging neck breaker from him. And he's off the ropes with a huge clothesline. Nice running clothesline, knocking Desmond Floyd down. And now Kendall looks like he's going to be trying to throw Desmond out. He does, he gets him over the ropes. Kendall immediately climbing up top. Huge crossbody, nails it to the outside. Amazing from the lone wolf Chris Kendall there. Later on in the match, we're back in the ring, and Floyd is back in control after a nice vertical suplex there. Kendall on his way out, getting up with some punches that seem to be aimed at the groin, oddly enough. And there's Kendall with a big body slam, and he's giving a little homage to the macho man Randy Savage. There's an elbow drop, nails it right to the sternum of Desmond Floyd, the champion. Floyd is in definite trouble right now. Kendall up on his feet now after a quick replay break for a pinfall here. We've got one, two. Oh, and the champion just barely kicks out after two and a half there. Kendall responds by knocking him right back out, going into another pinfall. One, two. Oh, and another kick out from Desmond Floyd on two. Kendall's got to do more work here. Later on in the match, Kendall trying to win with the punches, but Floyd coming back into everything. Side headlock into a suplex clutch and a nice snap suplex, reminding Chris Kendall of what the mat feels like. Dragging him toward the center of the ring now. Goes for his own pinfall. Floyd on top. One, two. Kendall kicks out at two as well. These two are going back and forth here in this title match to end the show. And there's a big clothesline into the turnbuckle, stunning Chris Kendall. Floyd from behind now. Big twisting back suplex in the corner. All kinds of tangled up in the ropes there. Picks up the lone wolf who is staggered. And now from underneath, we've got a sort of variation on the Alabama slam. The move Cody Rhodes has popularized. Desmond Floyd with a nice variation of it. We've got one, two, 
three. Chris Kendall loses. Desmond Floyd retains. He is still your breakthrough champion. It looks like he's going to go through to next week to take on Youngblood. We'll see what kind of match we get out of that next week. We'll also see in the coming weeks how Angus and 101 are going to finally face off. We're going to see what Team NLG can do to rebound from their loss to the Rainbow Warriors because they're not getting a title shot at Night in Hell now. And we'll see if Zack Whittle actually kills anybody because he looks angry enough to do so. But signing off here from Breakthrough, this is your commentator. Bye.